Hello, 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 people. How are we? I hope you're good. Welcome back to the channel Into Tech. Today, I'm going to be showing you three top tips and tricks you probably didn't know if you're a Virgin Media customer. Right, so I'm going to show you how to get the Virgin TV Go app that you see here on my computer. It is very easy to install, but unfortunately, that isn't on the Microsoft Store. As you can see here, I'll quickly go on it, do a quick search for Virgin Media Apps and you will see that there is none on there at all. So believe it or not, this is actually a very easy fix for anyone who wants to watch Virgin TV on the go. And just a quick reminder before we go on with the video, if you do find this video helpful, please drop by the channel Into Tech, where we have a number of videos that you may find helpful, including more Virgin Media tips and tutorials. Right, so back to today's video. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and in your browser search, type Virgin TV Go. Once it's loaded up on Google, click on Virgin TV Go to go to their website. Now, if you prefer, you can sign in on the top right hand side and watch whatever you'd like in browser. But if you would prefer the app, like I said at the beginning of the video, it is very easy to do. All you have to do is go up to the top in the address bar and you will see the little icon I'm now pointing to and that will say install the app. Click on install the app and you will see it appear on your desktop like I'll show you at the beginning of this video. The second tip, I'm gonna show you how to improve the weak security on your Virgin Media broadband. Right, so the first thing you need to do is get your IP address and password on the bottom of your router. Once you have the IP address, go on your browser of choice and type that IP address into the search bar, which will then load your router's homepage. Now, the first thing you do to improve security of your router is changing the password, which if this is the first time logging in, you have to do this. So just change it to something that it's easy to remember for yourself, make sure you write it down, and then you're done. Now that you're logged in and you've changed your password to something you can remember, this will now take you to the home page. The first thing you now need to do is check your firewall settings. To do this, click on advanced settings tab on the left hand side, then go to security submenu firewall. In the firewall settings, make sure firewall protection, port scan detection, and IP flood detection are all enabled. Once you've done this, apply the changes and then click on the advanced settings tab again on the left hand side. Click on wireless submenu security. In this menu, you will see the 2.4 gigahertz wireless security setting and the 5 gigahertz configuration. In the security tab, make sure it's set to WPA2 personal and not WPA-WPA2 as the WPA2 personal is currently the highest level of encryption and security available on the Hub4 rower. The next thing to do, which I highly recommend, is change the Wi-Fi password slash security key. Here currently you will see the password you entered to join your Wi-Fi network when it came new. All you have to do, delete that password out and then enter a password of your choice. It does have to be one lowercase and uppercase letter and one number and at least 10 characters long. Once you have done this and changed the password, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on apply changes. Also, if you do consider changing your password, just make sure you write it down and you know what it is, because if you do forget it, you won't be able to add any more devices to your network. And the final security feature to change is in advanced settings, wireless, then submenu WPS. In the WPS menu, go to WPS push button and disable it. I disable this for two reasons. One, I never ever use it. And two, what this does is it enables anyone to connect to your Wi-Fi by pushing the WPS button on your router and bypassing your Wi-Fi password. For this reason alone, I disable it. Again, once you've ticked disabled, click on apply changes and you're done. One extra little tip for you before we go is about the light ring. If you have your hub on show, 
where you see it all the time or it's in your direct view and you find the light ring quite annoying as it's quite bright you can go on lighting and take it off auto onto manual and turn the brightness all the way down to zero equally you can turn it up also for me my hub is out of the way in the spare bedroom and i never see it so i just have mine set to auto the third and final tip of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on and customize your Virgin Media's web safe settings. Right, so let's get to it. First thing we need to do is open up our browser, go to our search engine and search for My Virgin Media. When you search for it, it should be the one at the top of the page on the search engine. So when it is there, just click on it, which will take you to the login page. Just click on sign in. Now just continue to sign in with the account information you have, which will be your email address and password. It may ask you for the new biometrics, but you can just skip this if you want to like I have in this video. That may also ask you to add an authentication method. Again, you can just continue and skip this also. Now that you have logged into your account homepage, as you can see, you can do a number of things here. You can see your latest bill, view your package, check the service status if you are having problems with your service. Maybe your TV's down or your broadband's slow, so you can just check server status on there and that'll tell you if there's any problems on the network equally you can also go onto netflix and activate that so it becomes part of your monthly bill but for this video we will just be going to update settings which is where the web safe settings are now that you've clicked on update settings go ahead and click on online security at the top as here you'll see the options to manage your web safe settings as you can see in the paragraph at the top the web safe helps you stay safe online by protecting your devices on your home network here you can choose your level of protection that's right for you and your family for example you might have children in your household and you might want to prevent them from seeing certain things online if that's the case this is how you do it so you will see when you first log into your web safe settings the virus safe will be switched on by default i recommend keeping this on and do not touching it as you can see it helps protect against fraudulent websites and websites that may contain viruses the next tab below is the child safe tab this is where you can toggle this on or off and this is how you control what people can and can't see on your home network once you turn it on you can see there are a number of settings on the right hand side that are blocked by virgin media by default now i'm not going to read all of the settings on the right hand side that are blocked by default as i don't want this video to get copyrighted or banned but you can clearly see what they are all common sense things really now on the left hand side you can select additional options that you may want to block things like social media gaming illegal downloads online dating maybe even gambling websites any that you want to block just toggle them on and they will turn green and say blocked next to them once you've done that scroll down click apply then you will see your settings have been updated now just to show you how good these settings are I will do a quick search on my browser for dating websites some well known ones and show you that none of them load up. Now moving on to the next sub menu from categories to websites this one's very simple you can just block certain websites individually if you want you can allow certain websites all you have to do copy the web address for the site you want to block paste it into there click add and then apply just a quick reminder if you are enjoying the video please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video thank you right let's get back to it the third and final option is to set a timer to turn the child safe on and off at a time that suits you the options here are never weekdays monday to friday weekend saturday sunday and every day for the purpose of this video i'm going to select monday to friday which would be a handy thing to do say if your kids are at school you could turn the child safe off during the hours your children might be at school and then have it set to come back on when your children are home but that of course is just an example you can just set it up however you see fit 
Once you have put in the parameters that you like, don't forget to click on apply to save the settings. Now that you've set all of your web safe settings up how you like, don't forget to go up to the top and sign out of your Virgin account. Right, well that brings to an end another one of our Virgin Media tutorials. If you found this video helpful, please check out some of our other Virgin Media videos. Also, consider subscribing to the channel, Into Tech. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.